There, I have with me Mr. Yuti Khadar, former Health Minister, present MLA, who is uh, today a member of the press. Uh, regarding the Rajya Sabha elections, the Congress has nominated uh, the second candidate Mansoor Ali Khan. In this regard, my, uh, uh, Mr. Khadar has told that the Janata Dal S should support the Congress. My question to him is, why should JD support? See, the second candidate of Congress, Mansoor Khan. had met the janata dal of all india president they got us to discuss and come and define our candidate janata dal declared their candidate after two days so if we and last year this one the three months back this is a rajya sabha election when they got us contested we congress all out to support they got us so this is time they have the show support they should support us so but the jds is telling that you know uh, you already your uh, sonia gandhi has spoken to deve gowda kumar sami has spoken and then they already said to put a candidate and the last minute uh, mansoor them was there and uh, and they are asking your support now to so, see to others they think with bjp have you see uh, once it might have gives them word that will be followed is clear cut they have not discussed one thing. then generally who knows them are discuss them are discuss with bjp also they are they form so but practically and clear cut there is no the nothing decision was taken second thing congress second candidate mansu is a worker no figure and a youth leader and a minority who my janata dal given is a janata dal worker is the congress candidate who contested before that the worker no their same people the state president was there our uh, zafrul khan was there danish ali was there bm farooq was there they could have given uh, them no or any other community work also they could have given when they are supposed to lose last time they gave for when they supposed to win they are giving home so why is that why why they are not answering this so but what is the what is the position because you have 25 uh, seats left and uh, with uh, jds in having 32 seats and even uh, congress uh, bjp have 25 seats. so strategy of the rajya sabha the first preference and second position what how will you manage so see congress have many time one we when we never had sufficient seats we had one many rajya sabha seats we have all senior leaders experienced leaders tashak tatar uh, leaders are there We'll say that Congress will win. No doubt. So no, Mansoor is an educationist, he's very young, uh, very honest, very straightforward, and you know he's upcoming. Uh, and his father is the uh, Mr. Rahman Khan, uh, who's been a deputy chairman and has done so much for the community. Do you think that you know by not nominating Mansoor as a first uh, first prince candidate? Congress has somewhat, uh, you know, played uh, the minority, saying that okay, you are a second preference, not the first preference, because Jairam Ramesh is already has uh, passed his age, and there is a resolution in the Rajasthan Gibar uh, Chintan that not to give a person with the old age. So Mansoor Khan should have been given the first preference. See, yes, all the leaders and minority leaders and people should understand the election takes place for two the Vidhan Parishad member and one Rajya Sabha from the Congress. Out of two Vidhan Parishad, we have given one to. Why not the Jabar Khan? Last time when our MLC election took place, we gave it one out of two. One we gave to Nasir Ahmed. And uh, six or one year back, when Rajya Sabha election came, Nasir Hussain was the Rajya Sabha candidate. He is a chief whip. So equal representation is not the minority in this one. So again, we can't expect that to the first year because Jabar Khan was a sitting member. Because uh, JDS one leader who left your party and went. He is telling that. Yeah. minorities have always been implicated minorities have been given the second choice mansoor should have been given the first choice see why should other party leaders be concerned about congress party when they are in other party what their party is doing let them tell why as a being a state president minority and a state president couldn't take one ticket and give for a minority one ticket why was not possible at least one name for consideration nothing is there On no more discussion, so much capacity they don't have. So uh, you, you mean to say that JDS will be supporting the BJP and they show the uh, credentials so that they are not settling? See, JDP, I don't, I won't say BJP. They are supporting BJP. It is an opportunist party. Wherever they benefit, they will go there. They don't have any ideology. Opportunity is the only ideology. Sir, till two years back, you had coalition with the JDS. 
that in DDS was secular. Now all of a sudden DDS is not secular for you. See, when we have 80 members and then the 30 members, we give unconditional support, making the JDS more from me as a chief minister went for five years. Why? To keep away the communal forces coming to power. It may be a uh, uh, mis not mistake. It is not a blunder. It may be a setback for Congress. It's been a mere majority we couldn't be. But our intention was not our self-interest. We did not want the communal forces come to the power and torture and trouble all the people living in the society. Now after two years, you know what come if what happens if communal power come to the uh, communal forces come to the power. This we don't want to happen. So we supported uh, yes. Dr. Dhani. Now why they can't support us? So what is making this? You have some ego problem with your uh, leaders that uh, JDS is not supporting the Congress and the Congress uh, leaders uh, have some uh, issues with the JDS leaders. We don't have any issues. And if we any issues also there, we should solve it all. We had a lot of issues before the ML election. But when we came for the power, we want to keep our BJP, we support them. So what we choose is there, we shall keep aside. Sir, now coming to one uh, video is viral that we have spoken against hijab and we have told that uh, Muslim girls should go to Pakistan, stay in Pakistan and you know there is a lot of uh, trolling for you. So, how do you come clean on that? It's a misinterpretation of false propaganda by the SDPI team in the social media only to see that they get some political gain out of that. Truth will be always truth. And the lies doesn't have... So, what exactly did you say? Say, what I say is, generally, whatever possible on legal side, you have helped the students. And uh, in all the issue, India, as when generally I was talking to the press of this one, say, India's democracy, beauty of democracy and the law, whatever will the problem is here, we know the beauty of Indian law and democracy, we won't know if we are here. If you go to other countries, we will we'll come to know. So, we should go and see and come. Uh, one who talks too much here, when they go there, they realize India is the best. And the passing reference I had given Pakistan, South Africa and uh, Saudi. Even I said when I went, I had a uh, problem. So it was just a uh, passing reference where we should see that we are uh, an opportunity to be protest, to talk, to discuss everything we have got in this country. We should use that. We should create a problem. Uh, we should be a part of the problem. We should be a part of the solution. Sir, uh, this hijab issue, who was, uh, who was, why it was taken and who created it? And see, in Mangalore University, it is a clear mistake of the university syndicate. Because the academic care is not over. Between the academic care, they change the rules. The court order never said you change the rules. They said you maintain whatever the rule is there. But the syndicate, when it passes an order, the VC has, doesn't have a right to stop it. And DC doesn't have a right to question it. When the legal issue comes, we should be, uh, ask the legal way only. That is what I told my sister students. So, because out of more than 100 students, only 10 students have this problem. Other 90 students are in the class. We, I told them, you attend the class according to the rules, then you go and question in the court of law. If we get a stay, it will benefit for all. But no great problem it's going sitting there, here, protest, and it will give because when other students are studying, it's a disturbance for everyone. Before, it was only inside the club is not allowed. But now, because of this issue, the they don't have in the campus only. Who is the reason for this? How many students, girl students, were due to instigation, 10 standard now, now return, not return. Now they are trying. So Out of 100 students have not written, 50 students' life is gone. So what is your message? I said education is very important. Especially girls' education is very much important. No intervention should come on the part when they take the education. And campus problems should be solved in campus only. The parents are the main responsible to see the well-being of their children. Sir, one final question. Tomorrow is the D-Day, the Rats of election. So, how confident are you? 100% we are confident. Mm -hmm. uh, UT Khadar is very confident that uh, Mansur Ali Khan, the second candidate of the Raj Sabha, would definitely win the Raj Sabha elections. And uh, this is one signing off from Ashima News, Bangalore.